Koku, Mama's gonna go bye bye. I'm gonna go bye bye. Oh, do you want me to? Do you want to come with me? You want to come with me? Of course you do. What is up, guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to do when you are leaving your pets home while you are going on vacation and how to make sure that they stay safe and healthy when you are gone and also a little bit about what to do when you have to travel with your turtle. But before we get onto the video, make sure you go down below and hit that red subscribe button and also ring the notification bell so you can see all of my future turtly awesome videos. How about that? So the holiday season is upon us, the Christmas season is almost upon us and there's just a bunch of people traveling around, visiting family, doing all sorts of cool stuff. And a lot of turtle owners and pet owners are finding themselves asking, what should I do about my pets when I'm gonna be leaving for the weekend or the week or even the entire month? What do I do with them? How do I make sure that they stay cared for? And how long can I leave them without food? All these questions. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now, first of all, there are two things that I really want you to know when it comes to leaving your pets. The first thing is that turtles can actually go quite a long period without eating. So if it's just a weekend, Honestly, you really don't have to worry. Turtles are extremely resilient and they can just go a long period without eating anything. So when you're gonna be leaving at home, don't stress too much about food, okay? The second thing I want you to know is that if you don't already, you need to get your lights onto a timer. Now this is because timers make everything so much easier for you trust me. So basically with a timer, you won't have to worry about turning your lights on and off um, while you're away. And even when you're at home, it just makes everything so much more consistent. I literally have a whole video basically talking about why you need a timer. So just go out there, go to Walmart or whatever general supply store. It's like eight bucks and get yourself a timer. Okay, so with all that aside, now let's talk about a couple ways you can actually get food to your turtle while you are gone. So the first option you have is to actually just not feed your turtle at all. Now this is actually acceptable seeing as, like I said in the beginning, turtles can go quite a long period without food. The question is, what is the limit of how long they can go without food? Personally, I have left my turtles up to a week without food. Now this is my adult turtles, keep in mind. There was a time when I couldn't find anyone to stop by my house to feed him while I was gone. And so I just had no other choice but to leave him for the week and I came back and he was totally fine. So for adult turtles, I'd say even up to a week, although it is certainly ideal to have someone at least come over once during that period to check on the turtle. But generally, if it's something like a weekend, that is completely fine. Your turtle will be fine without eating. Just make sure you feed them right before you leave and as soon as you get back and you should be fine. Now for hatchling turtles, this is a little bit different because hatchling turtles do usually need to get fed more often. Um, so you can consider other options, but usually if you have an adult turtle, leaving them alone for like a period, I, I'd say ideally under four days without eating is okay. Another option you have for feeding is an automatic feeder. So these are those little doodads that you can hang on like the rim of the tank. You'll fill them with food and then they'll either turn or just open up a door at a certain set time to feed your turtle. Now you certainly can use these to feed your turtle. I just prefer not to use them because they aren't always super accurate for one. So sometimes they might put in too much food in the tank or they might put not enough or they can only be set for like a 24 hour cycle. And seeing as feeding your turtle every day might not be ideal, especially if you're leaving an older turtle for a longer period of time. Um, you don't wanna be feeding them every day because that could get the water dirty really fast. I just prefer not to use them. You can definitely use these for hatchling turtles. I think that's a really helpful thing, especially if you can't have someone physically come over to check on the turtles and feed them. Then you can use an automatic feeder, but I would definitely suggest testing it before you actually leave the turtle alone with it because you don't want to have an automatic feeder that all of a sudden just dumps a bunch of food because it's not accurate and then all that food just remains uneaten and the tank 
just gets really dirty and gross because of all this waste now at the bottom of the tank. So just make sure you're testing your automatic feeder if you do choose to use one. But personally, I prefer this next option, which is actually having someone come over physically to feed the turtle. Now this is what I like to do when I'm leaving my pets on vacation because you'll actually have someone physically coming over to check on the turtle, see how they're doing and feed them. And if you're having a physical person feed the turtle, you can actually write out specific directions for them. Um, they can even come by and water your plants if you need them to. You can even leave your contact information or the vet information so that if they do see an issue, they can contact you and or the vet um, and make sure that that all gets solved. And it's just really nice for peace of mind knowing that someone else is coming in and checking on the turtle while you are gone. Now, I highly suggest leaving directions for them so make it foolproof like literally if you want to count out the number of pellets you usually feed to your turtle and write that down and say feed 15 pellets of this type of pellet and feed 10 pellets of this type of pellet or whatever it is that you feed your turtle that way it's very easy for that person who is coming over to feed your turtle know exactly what they're supposed to do and then again leave your contact information so if they have any questions they can just ask you now another option that you have is actually leaving food inside the tank you can actually keep things like guppies or live fish inside your tank and hope that your turtle actually catches and eats them if they get hungry enough that way they'll always have a source of food inside the tank for them to eat while you're away. You can also try things like ram's horn snails and maybe even live shrimp if you wanted to. So that is also another option. And so those are some ways to feed your turtle while you are away. Okay, so that is the food aspect of when you're leaving your turtles at home. But what about the water aspect? By water, I mean water changes and topping off water. So you might notice that when you have a turtle tank or even a fish tank, if you don't have a lid, which a lot of us turtle keepers don't because we have a basking area, when you don't have a lid, the water will actually evaporate. And for those of us with above tank basking areas, if the water evaporates too much, then the turtle can't actually go up the ramp and bask because it becomes too difficult. So you might need to have someone stop by and top off your water. Usually you're not gone long enough for this evaporation to really be enough that it actually causes a problem. But if you do need someone to top off the water, make sure you write that down on the list so that the evaporation doesn't become too much of a problem. And as for water changes, generally I don't ask people to do this for me because I would rather the tank just stay as it is and not have a water change. Um, rather than having them do a water change and then accidentally messing something up. You can have them do a water change, but generally, if it's under a week, you don't need to do water changes. Um, if it makes you feel more comfortable, you can do one before you leave and as soon as you get back. But generally, water changes aren't a necessary thing. All right, so that is how you can leave your pet at home when you are going on vacation. But what about when you have to travel with your turtle and transport them? Well, now, usually, the only times you'll have to be traveling with a turtle is when the turtle is going to a new home or you are, like, actually moving or if you have to take the turtle to the vet because turtles generally don't travel well. Moving them around stresses them out, and so you won't be really taking them anywhere unless you actually have a good reason to do so. But when you do have to take your turtle on, like, a car ride, the best way to do it is in like a plastic bin like this or a um, five gallon bucket. You don't even need something as big as this for them to travel in. Just make sure whatever you're putting them in is escape proof and also ventilated so that they can get air. Put a towel in there so that they will feel more secure and not be jostling around during the ride. But just try to do it as quickly and as stress free as possible for them. Make sure you do not put them in water when they're traveling because turtles do breathe air and so having water in there can just make it splash and be very messy. And turtles also have a harder time controlling their movement when they're in like a bucket of water that's slashing around inside a moving car so just put them in a plastic bin with a towel it'll make it a lot easier for you if it's cold outside make sure that you either have a heat pack or some way to keep them warm and vice versa so if it's hot make sure that it's not too hot for them and just try to do it quickly and don't do it unless it's necessary like you're going to the vet or something um, so yeah that is how you can leave your pet turtle at home when you're on vacation and also how to travel with them. So that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment if you have any tips and tricks of leaving your pets on vacation. 
And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.